our next barista competitor say he's no stranger to barista competition. World Barista Championship competitor number 33, barista champion of Singapore, Ryan Tan! <laughs> So, Ryan, when you're ready, if you raise your hand directly in the air, that will start your timer automatically for you, and your time will begin. Best of luck. The floor is all yours, sir. Can I get a music check, please? Hi, I'm Ryan, and I'm really excited to be here today. Judges, this year is really special for me because Melbourne is where I fell in love with specialty coffee. I spent most of the past five years in Melbourne studying in university as well as working in specialty coffee. But what I've been obsessed with recently is taste. What I believe is that taste is largely dependent on expectations as well as our different cultural backgrounds. And the perceived taste is usually you know, very associated with our past experiences as well. So having worked in Singapore as well as in Melbourne, I've been able to no notice some, difference, some interesting differences between the coffee cultures in both countries. And one example would be you know, the, a coffee that you find in, typically find in Melbourne is, will be too sour to serve in Singapore. You know, and so I think, I think that's a really interesting difference. Anyway, what I believe is that I think specialty coffee should find a balance between what specialty coffee wants to be. I think we need to find a balance between what specialty coffee wants to be and also what the customer wants to receive at the end of the day. Today, I'm going to serve you a coffee from Ethiopia. It's from the Sidamo region, grown at the Guji zone from an extremely high altitude of up to 2,500 meters above sea level. It's also a natural processed coffee, and because of the mature cherries used, it brings with it a deep, deep tone acidity, as well as wine-like characteristics. I'll be right back with espresso coffee. Thank you. I'm just gonna perch my grinder.
natural process, we're gonna get a lot of layers of fruit. And I believe that's a cherry sweetness as well as a plum skin acidity. On the finish, you're gonna get a great seed bitterness. Be right back with the cappuccino, thank you. Let's hear a huge round of applause for the espresso course! Judges, today my cappuccinos. These cappuccinos really remind me of an apricot jam and malt. Also, please take one sip, stir vigorously to let the cappuccinos cool before you revisit the cup. And what I notice is that on the second sip, the cappuccinos become a little bit sweeter and it also reminds me of cereal with milk. Vessels of a spoon, thank you. Judges, once again, your cappuccinos. First sip, malt. An apricot jam. Stir vigorously, let the cappuccino cool. And revisit the cup. Flavors will become a little bit sweeter. As well as, it will start to remind me, or you, of cereal and milk. Enjoy. taste and evaluate my cappuccinos. I'll come back in about 20, 30 seconds to bring you over to my table. Will you please join me at my workbench while I'll be explaining the rest of my sick drink. Thank you. Let's hear some noise for the cappuccino!
whenever you're ready. All right, so judges, what I prepared for you here today, fermentation of plums. So I've used two of the same plums. I fermented them in water using a Riesling yeast. Don't worry, I've taken this to above 80 degrees to get rid of any alcohol. There's no alcohol in this. What I just want to do is to compare two different fermentation periods. One is a six day, one is a nine day fermentation period. We're just using the same plums to, ex to just to have some fun with the flavors. So, over here on your left, is a nine day fermentation of the plums. Slightly longer fermentation period. You're gonna expect a little bit more lively, vibrant acidity. So let's give this a try, taste it, compare this with the next one I'm going to pop for you, which is a six-day fermentation. This also re really reminds me of that the wine-like acidity I find in the Guji coffee. Thank you. Right, and over here is a six-day fermentation of the same plums. On your right, slightly less acidity bit cleaner. Once again, this is just to have some fun. Let's taste the difference. After you're done tasting, could you... Oh, one more part, sorry. So, over here I have a maceration of grapes. It really reminds me of the grape seed finish in the espressos earlier. I made this using an equal amount of sugar and grapes left to chill for 24 hours. So judges, please taste them, and after which, please head back to the judges' table where I'll be serving the rest of the sick drink. Thank you. Time check. So judges, over here today in your sick drink, the fermentation I explained and let you try earlier, followed by three espressos in each pot, and the maceration of grapes. So what are we going to do today is, I'm going to let you try this sick drink, which really reminds me of just an exaggerated espresso. You know, it has very similar plum wine notes as well as a sweet sweet grape finish which really reminds me of the espresso earlier what i want to highlight is that some of you are going to prefer the nine day and some of you are going to prefer the six day fermentation but it's absolutely okay because everyone is entitled to their own taste and preferences right so 
on your left, this side, is a 9 day fermentation. Yeah, 9 day and 6 day. Thank you. Alright, time check. Alright, so taste them and compare. Once again, it's going to be like this one has the, the 9 day has a little bit more acidity. You will notice a bit more acidity. And there's a more even acidity throughout the six day fermentation. It's going to be different, it's just to have a little bit of fun. What I'd just like to say is that although at the end of the day we want to make the customers happy, but sometimes we find it a little bit difficult to achieve that based because. Um, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I really enjoyed myself today. Hope you guys have to please enjoy my sick drink. Thank you. Time. Let's hear a huge round of applause for the barista champion, competitor number 33, Ryan Tan, barista champion yeah. of Singapore. Boy, Ryan, how did that go? Good. The music? Not Is so good. Not so good, but yeah. really good to see you rolling with that one as well and just kind of getting on with it. It was, you know, these things happen, don't they, when you're yeah. in competition, as yeah. you know. Um, so, um, how, how many times have you competed now? Is it it's three times? This is your third time competing in the World Barista Championships? Yes, third time at WBC. Okay, yes. uh, so you were last year in Vienna. Yes. And the time before was? In Bogota. Bogota, yes. Bogota. So, does it get any easier the more you compete? No, it gets harder, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I think that it, for the outsider looking in, it gets harder because the standard is being raised so much year on year. Yes. Um, everybody's performance seems to be getting better. Yeah. Um, and the more, you, the more you do it, the more you learn, and the more you want to show to the judges when you're on stage. Yeah. So, it really gets a lot harder, yeah. So, tell me a little bit about the coffee that you use. You said it's from the Guji region in Sadamo. Yeah. Um, what, what, what was your motivation for choosing it? Was it purely on taste or was it to work with your signature beverage or...? Well, basically, I just tasted a lot of coffees. You know, I had my roaster roast like 10 over coffees for me and I just chose the best one, yep. the one I liked the most. Yeah. And so then you build the signature drink around the coffee yes. rather than build a, find a coffee for the signature drink? No, that, that was the plan. Yes, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's excellent, that's really good. Um, I, I adore your cups. Um, if you just look on top of the machine there, they're, they're beautifully uh, silver gilded cups. They are amazing. They may get stolen. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Right. Well, listen, thank you very much. Please, audience, if you can just join with me once more on congratulating our World Barista Championship competitor, number 33, the Barista Champion of Singapore, Ryan Tan!